So, you're Varjak. That's right. Been wondering. Seen your name on that box about six weeks now. And in all that time, not a single letter. Not one. Not even a bill. A couple of weeks ago, there was a postcard addressed to occupant. Doesn't that count? Mr. Varjak? Yes? I believe the tide has begun to turn. But, but what do you mean? A letter. <laughs> For me? Uh-huh. Congratulations. <laughs> Go on, read it. I can't stand the suspense. <laughs> we are pleased to accept her publication in our December issue, your short story entitled City Girl. Enclosed, please find our check for $50. <laughs> we regret that as we are, as you know, a small literary magazine who cannot pay you more. Good news? Yeah, maybe, maybe you're right. Maybe the tide is beginning to turn. Mrs. Fansuk, please. I'm sorry. Wrong number. Sorry. Hi. I came to talk to you about last night. What? The plugs, you didn't, yeah. The, the, uh, I, I can't go through the whole thing again, but it's sufficient to say I came to make up. And I have all kinds of news. May I come in? Sure. Oh, wait a minute. Do I have a robe on? No, I don't. Do you mind turning around for a second? Never mind. That's such a corny line anyway. I'll turn around myself. <sighs> Millionaire Playboy Ruffler for a Rusty Trawler. He loved to Greenwich yesterday with Mildred Hartford White. Heiress to White Steamship Fortune, huh? Have you seen the papers? Oh, you mean Rusty? Yes, I know all about it. I certainly had him pegged wrong, didn't I? I thought he was just a rat, but he was really a super rat all along. A super rat in a rat's clothing. It's hardly fair. <laughs> Honestly, Fred, darling, you were right about him from the beginning. I should have listened to you. But you don't even know the best part. Not only was he a rat, or a super rat, he was also broke. Broke and not a fathering. Well, his family has money, of course, but he personally is broke. We had it out the other night. And turns out, not only is he broke, but he owes seven hundred thousand dollars. Well, that's why he decided to marry the queen of the big people. <laughs> who knew a girl who looks like that would be a steamship heiress, whatever that is. Anyway, they were made for each other, and I hope they'll be terribly happy. What about you, Fred, darling? I missed you in our little midnight excursions up and down the fire escape. I really have. I've sold a story. Just got a word this morning. Oh, that's marvelous. It really is. But how does your decorator feel about all this? I thought mm. you were supposed to be saving yourself and all that. You know something? I haven't quite got our own telling her yet. Listen, why don't we go outside and celebrate? That's a wonderful idea. Why don't you open the champagne on the counter while I get dressed? I never drank champagne before breakfast. With breakfast, yes, yeah, several locations, but never before. Well, now I've got a real wonderful idea. We could spend the whole day doing things we've never done before. First, something you've never done, and then me. Of course, I can't really think of anything I've never done before. 